Okay, so Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our uh, today's lecture is raw materials for industrial fermentation. So we have already discussed about the fermentation, its uh, steps, and uh, uh, we've also already discussed the microorganisms involved in fermentation. Our today's topic uh, is basically uh, dealing with the raw materials. That what is a raw material? why we select raw materials for industrial fermentations and then uh, what is the criteria of using the raw materials in uh, various industrial fermentations so first of all i will define what is a raw material a raw material is an unprocessed material used for used to produce the finished products so it means that when we have to produce various bioproducts uh, instead of using the, the pure chemicals, we go for selecting the raw materials for large scale fermentations. And why we do use raw materials? The reason is uh, because uh, the pure chemicals that we use in fermentations, they are costly. So we can use these pure chemicals on small scale, for example, in laboratories. So when we deal with the, the fermentations of only few liters, then mostly we go for selecting the, uh, the pure chemicals. So, but whenever we are going uh, uh, for large scale fermentations, we have to use the raw materials because of uh, the cost of the pure chemicals. Uh, if we use uh, the pure chemicals, even in large scale fermentations, what would, what would ultimately happen that the cost of the finished product would go uh, would go up that it that the pro product uh, will ultimately uh, will not be able to compete in the market so we have to not only produce uh, good products in fermentations but we have to we have also to produce these uh, uh, products uh, in a very competitive manner so that it its cost could uh, compete with the other companies because you know uh, there are so many companies that are dealing with the uh, with the same products and so many companies are producing the same products and they are uh, giving these products to the market so our product should compete uh, in the market with the other products not only in terms of uh, the quality but also in terms of the cost as well so if we have to uh, if we have to be very keen about the cost and quality of the uh, the product then we have to go for the uh, for selecting the raw materials instead of the pure chemicals okay so uh, then if we are going to select raw materials uh, for large scale industrial fermentations then what is the criteria of what is the criteria of choice of these raw materials certainly we cannot go for selecting each and every kind of raw material uh, in order to be used in large scale fermentations definitely we have to uh, we have to deal with certain criteria we have to uh, fulfill certain criteria of selection of the raw materials and uh, uh, now I'm going to discuss briefly about the criteria of selecting the raw materials for large scale industrial fermentations. Number one, we have to look at the cost of the raw material. This is very important uh, because the cost would ultimately be translated into the cost of the final product, right? So what is the cost of the final product? This will largely depends on the cost of the raw material. So. Uh, for that purpose, we have to uh, select, we have to choose the cheaper feedstocks. Uh, we have to select those feedstocks that, that are cheaper, comparatively cheaper. So reason is, if we select the cheaper feedstock, it would ultimately go for, uh, it, it would ultimately go to reduce the cost of the final product and uh, our final product would, uh, uh, it would be easy for our fi final product to compete in the market. Then, uh, uh, similarly, if we select the uh, 
raw material with less price our product with compete uh, would be very competitive for example uh, as an example we can discuss that penicillin production is carried out by using the glucose so we mostly use those feed stocks or those raw materials for penicillin production that contain glucose but penicillin production could be more efficient on lactose as a carbon source right we have already discussed some of the carbon sources that are that are needed by the microorganisms in order to perform the fermentations so uh, 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 we mostly go to select the glucose containing raw materials reason is glucose containing raw materials are comparatively cheaper as compared to the lactose containing raw materials so although to produce penicillin lactose is more efficient lactose is more uh, uh, desirable but we 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 mostly select glucose containing uh, substrates we mostly contain glucose containing raw materials reason is their cost cost of the glucose containing raw materials is less as compared to the lactose containing raw materials 